State Representative Ron Reynolds is with us here on The Factor Uncensored from Austin today. Uh, you told us last week that this would happen. Now it has come to pass. Yeah, Isaiah, it's a dark day for HISD, uh, for the students, the parents, and all stakeholders. And quite frankly, I'm pretty pissed off. I was hoping I would be wrong, but my instincts told me I was right after my conversation that I had with you, with the commissioner. And sure, it came to pass today where he announced to the full legislative Houston delegation that, in fact, HISD will be sending, uh, getting notice today that they intend to take over the district. Uh, and pretty much it would be effective June 1st of this year with a board of managers and a new superintendent. Wow. Wow. What does this mean for the school district? And what do you think this means for the future of HISD? I'm I'm troubled. I'm concerned. There's a lot of uncertainty. Certainly, uh, TEA doesn't have a good track record. So I don't think this necessarily means it's, it's going to be an improvement for the students in those affected areas like Wheatley and others. I think that it's going to be great challenges. I think it's going to take a village uh, for us to rally around to make sure that we're not just leaving it solely at the discretion of TEA with no accountability for these board of managers. They don't have to answer to any damn body but Mike Morath. Uh, they don't have to look at us in the face, the parents, uh, uh, the neighborhood, or, or nothing. They can literally decide to put charters into, into neighborhood schools, sell schools, uh, who, hire whoever they want to, fire whoever they want to in terms of principals. Uh, there's a, so many questions, and this didn't have to happen. Uh, we still have legislation that can turn this thing around, and we told Commissioner Marath that, and he acknowledged that, but he said he's proceeding forward uh, based on uh, the, 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 current, the past legislation, current legislation, uh, and he intended to uh, see it through. We're, we're still going to fight. You know, there may be federal lawsuits uh, because the stakes are too high. We can't just sit back and let this happen on our watch. Uh, they've never taken over a district of this magnitude. There's no precedent for this. The previous takeovers have been small districts. The largest one was El Paso with like 50,000 students, and the rest of it was just a, a, a handful of students. So they don't have the capacity to do this. There's no reason why when HISD was improving, uh, Millard House was doing a uh, substantial job and turning around, and a new board, because he brought up the board past chaos and, 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 and troubles that the previous board has. And then I said, Quite frankly, it's a it's a new board. Yeah, I know, but we're we're going forward. So it, it's it's frustrating, and we're all wondering uh, why they continue to play politics when the stakes couldn't be higher for our kids. What's the end game here, at State Representative Reynolds? When we talk about politics being played, uh, mainly conservatives have wanted this. Uh, Republicans, rather, have wanted yeah, this. Uh, state Representative, I'm sorry, State Senator. Paul Bettencourt says he is for this. He sent out a press release saying he is for this. What do you think the end game is here? The end game, as I see it, is they want to indoctrinate uh, a, a board of managers with their views, uh, a views of, uh, that don't believe in diversity, equity, and inclusion, that believes in vouchers, that believe in supporting charters over traditional public schools, that believe uh, in the nonsense of critical race theory. So it's a whole philosophy. It's a paradigm shift. Uh, this isn't, uh, these are black and brown communities. Mo the majority of these students in HISD are black and brown. These schools that were uh, making some this significant progress, Wheatley has a current C rating. So this to me is nothing more than them saying, hey, we couldn't win at the ballot box uh, with the board of trustees. So we're going to install our board of managers that we control that will do what we tell them to do. We mean it, Governor Abbott, uh, TA Commissioner Mike Morath, and the Republicans that are leading the state of Texas. Uh, it is it is unfortunate. It takes away everything that's la that goes into local control and accountability at the local level. Because when those communities were not pleased with the current previous board members, they unelected them. They fired them. We don't. We can't fire the board of managers. Only the TA commissioner can do that. We can't fire Mike Morath. Only Governor Abbott can do that. So it is it is losing local control. It is them putting their people in place to run black and brown communities and black and brown schools and get rid of, of an African-American superintendent, it would be unlikely that they would replace him with an African-American superintendent or Hispanic. 
but there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, we asked that the border managers have to reside in the districts that they serve. He said no, because HISD is made up of single member districts where the trustee has to live within that geographical area. There is no requirement for that. And he ultimately said he'll make the decision on who will serve uh, the governing body of the board of, for, for the uh, governors of HISD in the future. And you, you have said you, we're talking about black and brown, mainly black and brown communities uh, that make up HISD. Correct. Do you see this? Would you be so bold as to say this is a white Republican takeover? Absolutely. Uh, I'm not going to miss my words. This is a white Republican takeover. Uh, I'm, I mean, you know, I have a lot of respect for, for Commissioner Moraff. He's only doing what he's told to do. Uh, this comes from the top, from Governor Abbott and, and the MAGA extremists that are running the state of Texas right now that are that are doing the same nonsense that I've been talking to you about. Getting rid of DEI, uh, critical race theory, taking away women's right to choose. Uh, taking away voting rights. So this is more of the same in this, but unfortunately this hits harder because this involves our kids. This involves our future, our students. And so we're all pissed off about this. Uh, there are a few people who are celebrating right now, but they're, they're mostly uh, the, the MAGA Republicans uh, that are in charge of the state right now. Those are the only people that I think celebrating. I, I think that it's a dark day for the teachers. I've talked to the teachers union. I talked to Jack Anderson, who is pissed off. I've talked to the uh, the bus drivers uh, union, the custodians. They're pissed off. Rita Thomas, I've talked to her. I've talked to Bishop Dixon. I've talked to the, the rank and file, the grassroots of HISD. They're not happy. The parents, uh, they're not happy. The only people I know are celebrating are many of those white Republicans that are now going to be running a majority minority black and brown school district. All right, sir. State Representative Ron Reynolds, we appreciate your time. And of course, we'll continue to follow this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Isaiah.